Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to apply flex direction property to create rows in the tweet embed. Okay, the header and footer in the tweet embed example have child items that could be arranged as rows using flex direction. Header and footer. So they, they have rows that could be aligned using, so there are these guys and these guys. Apparently flex direction could help them. So we want to add CSS property flex dash direction to both the header and footer to set the value to row. Header and footer to set. Okay, cool. So I'm seeing header CSS. This is all the same from previous lessons. And then this is all the HTML footers to value to row. Hmm, cool. So what we want to do is the header should have a flex direction property set to row. Header flex direction row. What did that change? It didn't change anything. Flex direction. And then we want the flex direction set to row in the footer too. Maybe that'll make more of a difference down here. So this is the footer. When we set the flex direction, hmm, nothing really happens. We run the tests. Okay, so I'm not really um, super fresh on what uh, CSS Flexbox, how it works and why we did that. So I'm assuming that in future lessons, that's going to become more important as to why we did that. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial. I hope it uh, got you unstuck if you were stuck. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.